Okay guys, we haven't dealt with the SMP in a few days now, but the scandals keep on coming either way. In fact, I'm hard pressed to remember a week when Scandal wasn't following the SMP around like a lost puppy. Obviously, we had the Salmon vs Sturgeon affair, which is not over yet, plus the Chief Whip stepping down following his own scandal that it now seems Nicola Sturgeon actually knew about as early as 2018, and possibly helped the SMP party machine cover up with her husband. Yesterday, she admitted during a briefing to knowing about claims Patrick Grady was a bit of a deviant and did nothing about it as early as 2018 when Alex Salmond himself brought it up to her. As you all know, he was the chief whip until he stood down when it all came out last week, which does not look good for old fish lips here, does it? Now, as I said, Nicola Sturgeon's husband, Peter Murrell, is also once again being accused as the chief of the SNP itself, which just adds to the scandals he finds himself in recently. In fact, I'm shocked more has not come from the bullshit he fed people under Roth. I'm sure me or you would be doing hard time for it right now, especially if the SNP had their way. Because let's be honest, saying something spicy in your own home up there will soon see you in deep trouble thanks to Scotland's new hate crime laws. Meaning I fully expect to see guys like Tailed Feature and Count Dankula doing hard time for posting spicy memes about Hamza Youssef. You know, the Scottish Justice Minister who hates white people because everyone around him in a 98% white country is obviously white. But why are we so surprised when the most senior positions in Scotland are filled almost exclusively by those who are white. Take my portfolio alone. The Lord President, white. The Lord Justice Clark, white. Every High Court judge, white. The Lord Advocate, white. The Solicitor General, white. The Chief Constable, white. Every Deputy Chief Constable, white. Every Assistant Chief Constable, white. The Head of the Law Society, white. The Head of the Faculty of Advocates, white. Every Prison Governor, white. And not just justice, the Chief Medical Officer White, the Chief Nursing Officer White, the Chief Veterinary Officer White, the Chief Social Work Advisor White. Almost every trade union in this country headed by people who are white. In the Scottish Government, every Director General is white. Every chair of every public body is white. That is not good enough. That, as I'm sure you would agree, is one salty little fuck pig. Shit, I guess I am now unable to go to Scotland because this jumped up little toss pot will arrest me for mugging him off, no doubt. But on top of all that, we also have polls going around at the moment showing a drop in support for the SNP. But I have about as much trust in them as I do Boris Johnson right now. So obviously take those polls with all of the salt in the Dead Sea. Now finally, on top of all that, and to end this video, we also have reports that new Labour leader up in Scotland is actually going to run directly against Nicola Sturgeon herself, literally making her fight it out for her own seat that is really going to piss old fish lips off. Of course, this is a ballsy move, but even if he loses, it means Sturgeon will need to spend more time in her own constituency as opposed to her usual trips around the country helping her MPs get elected. And let's be honest, shit, he could even win it. I have no idea who he is or how he's received in Scotland, and I don't much care. The focus of this video is the SNP shit show that keeps gaining extra scandals as the weeks progress. In fact, at this point, the mind actually boggles to what other skeletons lie in the SNP's closet at this point. I am sure the SNP hopes it never comes out. Obviously, we all want it to come out because it's juicy as fuck and the SNP deserve it. As we have seen in recent times, they are a corrupt bunch of cunts, it goes without saying, if any of the evidence is to be believed. But as we know, the SNP don't like evidence, even when it includes three people saying the same thing. Now, it really does beg the question how much more bullshit the SNP can Teflon don their way out of. Nicola Sturgeon has been riding it for a while now. How much longer can it continue before the bullshit falls on top of her? This is a question I find myself asking. We're off!